For all Harbor Freight Associates, maintaining a full and organized sales floor is an important part of driving sales. In order to do this, you'll need to become familiar with the process of merchandise management. The purpose of merchandise management is to maximize sales by achieving the highest possible in-stock percentage on the sales floor at any given time. This is broken down into four main procedures, stockroom organization, floor first receiving, sales replenishment, and recalibration. Stockroom organization is the procedure for storing merchandise within the stockroom in an order that accommodates the floor first receiving, sales replenishment, and recalibration processes. Floor first receiving is the procedure for receiving product from the warehouse, processing each carton efficiently, delivering product to the sales floor, and storing remaining product that is in excess of the sales floor capacity. Sales replenishment is a process to replenish or restock the sales floor with product from the stockroom where the inventory is stored. Recalibration is a process to ensure sales floor stock levels are at maximum capacity and to ensure that all on-hand merchandise is available for purchase on the sales floor. Here are a few more terms you'll need to be familiar with as well as they relate to merchandise management. The process of replenishing the store inventory from the warehouse is called warehouse replenishment. When an item is sold off the sales floor, it's replenished with inventory from the stockroom. Then each week, the planning and allocation department places an order with the warehouse to replenish the store's inventory. When a product is available to the customer in its correct location on the sales floor, the item is considered in stock. For an item to be in stock, it must be in its correct location on the sales floor according to the respective planogram. A planogram or POG directs how a specific area of the store is laid out. Every Harbor Freight store has many planograms, each one covering a specific area. POG is also used to describe a category of merchandise. For example, POG 22 Power Tool Accessories includes any merchandise that is part of the Power Tool Accessories assortment. Your store's unique store layout will indicate where each planogram is located in your particular store. For example, planogram 23 may be Power Tools, and the store layout may indicate that planogram 23 is in aisle 1. If an item is in its designated location within its planogram, then it is in stock. An item that has a quantity available somewhere in the store is considered on hand. An on hand item can be one of three places. On the sales floor in its correct location, on the sales floor in an incorrect location, or in the stock room. If a product is on hand but is not available in its correct location, then it is considered in store but out of stock or ISOS. ISOS percent is the percentage of items that are on hand but are not in stock in the correct location on the sales floor. A fillable out refers to an item with an on hand of zero, but is available in the warehouse on the store's order day. A non-fillable out refers to an item that has an on hand of zero at both the store and the warehouse. The flexing guide is a tool that gives specific direction for replacement SKUs for any discontinued merchandise. As each process within merchandise management is executed, it is important to maintain the integrity of the planogram direction. POG integrity refers to placing and maintaining all merchandise throughout all phases of merchandise management to ensure compliance to planogram direction. This in turn ensures the smoothest transition from receiving and stocking product to getting it to the customer. These processes are a very important part of your job here at Harbor Freight. They ensure that the sales floor stock levels are at maximum capacity with products set according to the planogram. In the upcoming videos, we will go over each of the merchandise management procedures in more detail. By understanding these simple terms and following the merchandise management processes, you'll help improve profitability for your store and ensure a better experience for your customers, maintaining the quality and service they've come to expect for over 40 years. Thanks for watching.